We're down at uh, Bishop Parent School, um, down in Twickenham. Uh, we're here for the Aviva Tackling Numbers. Um, you know, concept, what they do is fantastic. Um, you know, making maths more exciting. You know, we were talking to the lads, if we had something like this when we were around at school, it would have made uh, one school a lot more fun and uh, probably learning maths a lot more fun too. Our season so far has been a little bit inconsistent, a little bit frustrating. We're still in the hunt. I think there's only about six to eight points separate third to where we are down in eighth. Um, you know, our biggest problem has just been consistency. Uh, we, you know, we put in a good performance one week and the next week we let ourselves down and, you know, we're giving cheap points away. You know, we're, we're chasing games, giving teams six, nine, twelve uh, points and, uh, you know, we haven't been quite accurate enough in what we've been putting on the field and, yeah, we need to kind of step it up. It's as simple as that. Timmy, Tim Swear's done, done brilliant. You know, he's a young guy, I think he's 20. He's, he's been stuffed into a uh, pretty pressure cooker environment in terms of playing Leinster uh, away at Aviva and then obviously playing in front of 82,000 as well. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's done really well. He's made some mistakes, but it's all about the learning uh, process and the experience that he gets. Uh, yeah, he's, he's got a big future ahead of him. I remember a couple of years ago, it was oh, there were no English fly halves in the in the comp and and for England, and all of a sudden there's a there's a, a big boat of them. So yeah, look, obviously George Ford's taken the opportunity. I still think Owen Farrell's the guy there that uh, that he probably should be there. I think he's got a fantastic temperament. He's got a great head on him. He's played British Lions. He's he's got England out of a lot of holes. Um, maybe they look at him at playing twelve. Uh, you know Ford and Farrell. It's probably not the most uh, intimidating 10-12 combination in the world, but if you put Manu there, if he's fit there, it looks pretty good. But yeah, no, George is George is doing it fantastic. He's a young kid as well. He's got a lot. He's got a lot more to learn, um, and he's. Uh, but as long as he keeps playing well, he'd be brilliant.